In this video, we'll look at 10 celebrities who are currently serving life sentences in jail and the reasons why. Beginning with number 10, Eric Naposki, who went from the field to the courtroom. Eric was a promising football star with the potential for greatness, but his dreams of sporting glory were shattered when he was found guilty of a cold-blooded murder that shocked America. Former NFL linebacker Eric Naposki, he is accused of killing a former girlfriend's millionaire husband in 1994. Naposki was a former NFL linebacker who had played for the New England Patriots, Indian Annapolis Colts and Barcelona Dragons in the World League of American Football. He was also a bouncer at the Thunderbird nightclub in Newport Beach, California, where he met wealthy entrepreneur Bill McLaughlin. McLaughlin had made his fortune in the healthcare industry and was living a comfortable life in a luxurious beachside mansion. He was also involved in a romantic relationship with his live-in girlfriend, Nanette Johnson. But one day in 1994, McLaughlin was fatally shot in his home. The investigation quickly led to Naposki, who was having an affair with Johnson and had a motive for murder, money. Naposki had been living beyond his means and was in dire need of cash. McLaughlin was a wealthy man who had been planning to retire soon and was set to leave behind a sizable estate. Naposki, it seemed, had decided to take matters into his own hands. After a lengthy trial, Naposki was found guilty of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Johnson was also convicted and received a life sentence. But Naposki maintained his innocence and continued to fight for his freedom. He argued that there was no physical evidence linking him to the crime and that Johnston had manipulated him into a false confession. However, his appeals were unsuccessful and he remains behind bars to this day. The once promising NFL star is now a convicted murderer. If you think that Naposki story is crazy, wait till you find out about the celeb and business mogul at number one who will be spending probably the rest of his lifetime behind bars. And don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos. Number 9. William Michael Hayden Life of fame turns into lifetime of shame Former Sons of Guns reality TV personality William Michael Hayden's dark past has finally caught up with him as he was sentenced to life in prison plus 40 years for forcing himself on two preteen girls in East Baton Rouge Parish. The disgraced TV star, who once gained nationwide fame for his custom gun shop in Baton Rouge, was found guilty in 2017 on two counts of aggravated rape and one count of forcible rape. Hayden's crimes date back to the early 1990s, when he allegedly forced himself on a preteen girl, and more recently, when he repeated such a heinous act with another girl. The younger victim testified that she was coerced in his home and truck. The older victim came forward after news broke of Hayden's arrest in 2014, accusing him of doing the same acts to her when she was young. The Louisiana Supreme Court upheld Hayden's convictions and sentence, bringing an end to a lengthy legal battle. Despite his pleas of innocence, the jury unanimously found him guilty after only one hour of deliberation. The court heard testimony from both victims, who painted a harrowing picture of Hayden's abuse over a period of years. Hayden's legal woes didn't end there. He was also serving a life sentence for sex crimes in Livingston Parish. Several months after his convictions in East Baton Rouge, he pleaded no contest to aggravated rape of the same girl from several years ago in East Baton Rouge and another similar charge. Once a beloved TV star, Hayden's fall from grace has been swift and unforgiving. His show, Sons of Guns, aired on the Discovery Channel from 2011 till 2014 and featured Red Jacket Firearms, his custom gun shop. The show was canceled following Hayden's arrest in 2014, marking the end of his TV career. Hayden's victims have finally received justice, but his heinous crimes have left a lasting impact on their lives. The former TV star's actions have tarnished his legacy and serve as a grim reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface of seemingly upstanding individuals. Number 8. Jonathan Paul Coppenhaver War Machine Sentenced to Life in Prison Mixed martial arts fighter Jonathan Paul Coppenhaver, who goes by the name War Machine, was sentenced to life in prison on June 5, 2017, 
for brutally assaulting his ex-girlfriend, Christy Mack, in 2014. The afternoon when he was tased and arrested. Sentenced to life in prison for assaulting his girlfriend. The assault left Mack with severe injuries. During the trial, Mack detailed the attack. She stated that War Machine had attacked her, and at one point, he even attempted to force himself onto her. She managed to escape and seek medical attention only after he had left her for dead. War Machine was found guilty of 29 charges, including sexual assault, kidnapping, and attempted murder. The judge sentenced him to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 36 years. War Machine will not be eligible for parole until he's 71 years old. The case received widespread attention from the media, and many were outraged by the brutality of the assault. The sentence given to War Machine was seen as a victory for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. In the aftermath of the trial, Mack spoke out about the importance of believing victims of domestic violence and called for more support for survivors. She also thanked the judge and the prosecutors for their work on the case. Number 7. Young QC – Entertainer Convicted of Matricide Aspiring rapper Young QC, whose real name is Kwamein Wilson, made headlines for all the wrong reasons. He was convicted in 2020 of first-degree murder for hiring a hitman to kill his mother, Yolanda Holmes, a beloved local beauty shop owner on the north side of Chicago in 2013. The motive behind the crime was shocking, as Holmes would often shower her son with expensive gifts, including clothes, jewelry, and a Ford Mustang. After her death, Wilson was seen flaunting his $90,000 inheritance at luxury stores, a massage parlor, and even at his home. Wilson, who goes by the stage name Young QC, was an up-and-coming rapper who had gained a substantial fan base before his arrest. He was sentenced to 99 years in prison, which just means he'll be there for the rest of his life. And the hitman, Eugene Spencer, was sentenced to 100 years after being convicted of first-degree murder. The getaway driver, Loriana Johnson, also received 14 years in prison for her role in the crime. Cook County Judge Stanley Sachs, who presided over the case, called the murder matricide, meaning the murder of one's own mother, and stated that Holmes had given her son everything he wanted. Despite this, Wilson showed little emotion during his sentencing and claimed that nobody loved his mother more than him, adding that she was all he had. Wilson's crime shocked the music industry and his fans, who are now curious to learn more about his personal life. However, little information is available outside of his career as a rapper. While Wilson's musical talent may have been promising, his odious crime will likely define his legacy for years to come. Number 6. Hard Body Harrison. From wrestler to sex trafficker, he was once a champion in the ring, but now he's serving life in prison for his heinous crimes. We're talking about none other than Hard Body Harrison, the former wrestler turned sex trafficker who was sentenced to life in prison back in 2008. Harrison, real name Harrison Norris Jr., was a Gulf War veteran and former 2001 Tough Man heavyweight champion. He even sued his former employer, AOL Time Warner, for racial discrimination and received a hefty payout. But his life took a dark turn when he was arrested by the FBI for false imprisonment and trafficking women for lewd commercial act. During his trial, it was revealed that Harrison kept eight women as slaves, forcing them to quench his lewd thirst and that of other men. He claimed that the women lived with him because they wanted to train as professional wrestlers, but witnesses testified that he manipulated them psychologically and pimped them out to nightclubs, trailer parks, apartments, and hotels. Harrison's training regimen consisted of a wide variety of exercises and household chores, as well as memorizing a series of commandments designed to make them attractive women of the night. Failure to complete chores or breaking rules meant that the women had to pay money to Harrison, creating a never-ending debt cycle. Despite representing himself in court, Harrison was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. He's been behind bars since 2008 and will likely spend the rest of his life there. It's a shocking downfall for a man who once had the world at his feet, but justice has been served for his victims. Hard Body Harrison's legacy will forever be tarnished by his despicable crime. Number 5. Keith Wright, 
from NFL to a 234-year prison sentence. Keith Wright had the talent, but he made the wrong choices. Wright was a college standout and fulfilled his dream of becoming an NFL player, but his criminal actions landed him in prison for 234 years. Yes, you heard that right, 234 years. Wright was an effective defensive tackle at Missouri and was drafted by the Houston Texans in the sixth round of the 2003 NFL Draft. However, his success in college didn't translate to the NFL, and he was out of the league by 2006 after stints with several teams. It was after his NFL career that Wright's life took a dark turn. In 2011, Wright committed three home invasions in the Sacramento area, where he lived at the time. In one of those incidents, he sexually assaulted a woman and forced her to withdraw money from an ATM. Wright racked up 19 felony charges, including kidnapping, armed robbery, false imprisonment, and first-degree burglary. In 2012, Wright was sentenced to 234 years and eight months in prison for his crimes making it the longest prison sentence ever handed to an athlete in professional sports history. Wright was just 32 years old at the time of his sentencing and will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Wright's tragic story is a warning about the consequences of making bad choices and the importance of taking responsibility for one's actions. Wright's life could have taken a different turn if he had stayed on the right path. Instead, he became another cautionary tale of a promising career derailed by criminal actions. Wright's story is a reminder that no matter how talented someone is, it's essential to make the right choices and avoid the pitfalls that can lead to a lifetime of regret. Number 4. Max B from rap star to prison bars. Max B, once a rising star in the rap game, is now serving time in prison for his role in a fatal robbery. In 2009, Max B, whose real name is Charlie Wingate, was convicted of orchestrating a robbery that led to the death of a man in New Jersey. The incident occurred in 2006 when Matt B and his accomplices planned to rob two men of money and drugs. During the robbery, one of the men, David Taylor, was fatally shot. Max B was not present at the time, but prosecutors argued that he had masterminded the crime and was therefore responsible for Taylor's death. Max B was sentenced to 75 years in prison, a sentence that many felt was overly harsh. Supporters of Max B argued that he was a talented rapper and songwriter who had been unfairly targeted by law enforcement. Despite his incarceration, Max B has continued to release music and maintain his status as a cult figure in the hip-hop community. His fans have rallied behind him, with some starting a free Max B campaign to lobby for his release. In 2019, Max B was granted a shortened sentence, the news of which he shared on Instagram, with a caption, They gave me 75, got it chopped to a 20, and then got it down to a dozen. I'm good with the money. Hashtag super bad. Then he returned to the rap scene with a new album, House Money. Max B's story is a cautionary tale of the dangers of criminal activity and the harsh consequences that can result. Despite his talent and potential, Max B's involvement in the robbery ultimately led to his downfall and a lengthy prison sentence. As Max B looks to rebuild his career and reputation, his story serves as a reminder of the fragility of success and the importance of making wise choices. Number 3. Michael Jace From TV star to convicted killer Michael Jace's life has taken a shocking turn. The actor, best known for his role in the popular crime drama The Shield, was sentenced to life in prison for the murder of his wife, April Jace. In May 2014, Jace called 911 to report that he had shot his wife and when police arrived at their home in Los Angeles, they found April lifeless. The couple's two young sons were present in the home at the time of the shooting. Prosecutors presented evidence that Jace killed his wife in a fit of rage during an argument about their relationship. Jace's defense team argued that he had acted in self-defense, claiming that April had threatened him with a knife but the jury ultimately found him guilty of second-degree murder, and he was sentenced to 40 years to life in prison. Jace's case has attracted media attention, with many questioning how a successful actor could commit such a heinous crime. 
Some speculate that the pressures of Hollywood and fame may have contributed to Jace's violent behavior. April Jace had reportedly told friends and family members about Michael Jace's abusive behavior in the past raising questions about domestic violence and gun control. Some have argued that stricter gun laws could have prevented the tragedy from occurring. Despite the tragedy, Jace's former colleagues in Hollywood have spoken out in support of him. Actor Walton Goggins, who co-starred with Jace on The Shield, described him as a wonderful actor and a wonderful human being and expressed his sadness at the news of the murder. But for April Jace's family and friends, the pain of her loss and the knowledge that her killer will spend the rest of his life in prison are constant reminders of the tragedy that occurred in May 2014. Jace's case serves as a warning of the devastating consequences that can result when relationships turn violent. In the end, Michael Jace's fall from grace is a reminder that fame and success do not guarantee happiness or inner peace. Despite his on-screen success and critical acclaim, Jace's personal demons ultimately led him down a path of violence and destruction, leaving behind a legacy of pain and suffering for all those who knew and loved him. Number 2. Key Murder from rapper to convicted murderer, Corey Miller, better known by his stage name Sea Murder, was once a rising star in the rap game. He was a member of the legendary No Limit Records crew and had a string of successful albums in the late 90s and early 2000s, but now he's serving a life sentence in prison for second-degree murder. Miller was convicted in 2009 for the 2002 fatal shooting of a 16-year-old fan at a nightclub in Louisiana. The victim, Steve Thomas, had reportedly been involved in an altercation with Miller's entourage before he was shot. The case was highly publicized, with many in the hip-hop community calling for justice for the victim and his family. Miller has maintained his innocence and has appealed his conviction multiple times, but so far all appeals have been unsuccessful. He has also faced controversy surrounding his case, with some alleging that the prosecution's witnesses were coerced into testifying against him. There have also been questions about the reliability of the eyewitness accounts and the lack of forensic evidence. Despite these claims, Miller remains behind bars and is now in his 15th year of a life sentence. His case has attracted attention from the hip-hop community with many of his peers and fans advocating for his release. Rapper and activist Meek Mill has been one of the most vocal supporters of Miller, tweeting in support of Miller and demanding his release. Miller has continued to make music while behind bars, releasing multiple albums and collaborating with other artists. He's also been vocal about his innocence, speaking out in interviews and on social media. In 2020, he released a statement through his publicist saying, I am not guilty of the crime for which I was convicted. I look forward to being able to prove my innocence and regain my freedom. But his life will never be the same as it was before his conviction, and he remains one of the most high-profile examples of a rapper who's fallen from grace. Only time will tell if Miller will ever be able to clear his name and regain his freedom, but for now, he remains a symbol of the complex relationship between the criminal justice system and the hip-hop world. Number 1. Shug Knight From Music Mogul to Manslaughter Convict Once a titan of the music industry, Shug Knight now spends his days behind bars for the tragic 2015 incident that took place on the set of the NWA biopic Straight Outta Compton. Knight, the former CEO of Death Row Records, was sentenced to 28 years in prison after pleading no contest to running over two men with his truck, taking the life of one and injuring the other. Knight's legal troubles date back decades. He was once known as the most feared man in hip-hop and had a reputation for violence and intimidation. He was involved in several high-profile incidents, including the 1996 murder of Tupac Shakur, with whom he had close ties. But it was the 2015 incident that finally brought Knight down. The incident took place after a dispute with the film's director, and Knight claimed that he was acting in self-defense when he struck the two men with his truck. However, a judge ultimately ruled that Knight had acted with callous disregard for human life and sentenced him to prison. Since his incarceration, Knight's health has deteriorated, and he has suffered several medical issues. In 2018, he was hospitalized after experiencing complications from blood clots, and in 2019, he collapsed in court during a hearing. 
Despite these setbacks, Knight has continued to maintain his innocence and fight his conviction. Knight is currently serving time in a California state prison, where he'll remain until at least 2043, and we doubt that he will still be around at that point. It's a stark contrast to his former life of luxury and fame, but it's the reality he now faces as a convicted criminal. Only time will tell if Knight will ever see the outside world again. Click here to see 10 actors currently rotting in jail and the reasons why. See you there.